Right, lots of people asking me to compare the Launcher HB Turbo Driver that I'm thinking of gaming with the Zexio X Driver that I'm probably going to start the season gaming. Let's show you the numbers between these two. Very contrasting prices. So seven, eight hundred pounds in my, I think this is under 300 pounds. I think maybe post comments down below. Let me know exactly what the prices are in your region. Um, let's see what I get out of these two, why I might gain one over the other. Slightly different design elements on the top as well. We'll talk a little bit about that, but let's show you the numbers of these two drivers because I do think I will be flicking between these two through the year, or maybe I will just fall in love with one of them as soon as the weather stops raining out there and I can actually get out and play. Let's check out the numbers on these two clubs. Right, Matt's got the computer set up. Hello, Matthew. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, shall we go XXIO to kick us off? Yes, sounds good. Warming my balls. Oh, cheating. <laughs> cheating that five yards. It does get a little nippy in this room. Yeah. Right, XXXX, the uh, Zexio. So it's Ze if X and X are together, the first X is pronounced as a Z. Zexio. So Zexio. Zaxia. Been to the show, had a little lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so 47 gram shaft, titanium head, greyish kind of face, nice black top, lovely kind of line up line, which is um, like a transformer logo a little bit, where it changes its colour. And this is the one you're gaming first, possibly. Well, it's the one I'm more, I know what I'm going to get out of that. Okay. I'm intrigued to know how this plays on the golf course. That I might, I want to know. Okay. Whole bit of a drift. I don't want that little shape, see if I can just hang on to them. Toey one. So again, just drifting. But I mean, both of those would hit close to fairway, wouldn't they? If not fairway. Yeah, yeah. Right side, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely. Reckon. I do like the look of this driver. It's just a really nice, simple, yeah, design. I, I feel like it's gone back to basics. What do you mean this? Hasn't got much going on, just looks classic and is nice. Yeah, you know? yeah. And if you think about it, it's very similar to what I was gaming in TS3. Yeah, yeah. TS3 is like not trying to be the loudest shouter almost. Like, it's just a shouting game in the golf yeah. world. You've got two companies at the top just shouting at each other and then the others just go. Mm. <laughs> <you know. laughs> But yeah, very simple yeah. looking. Sound is nice. It's just all gonna be on the light shaft. And I, I just feel a little bit that with the light shaft, two things, I feel like I'm gonna enjoy it over time when I get fatigued. We do a lot of travel and then play that yeah. more and that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like I can pick up the speed because it's lighter. I think I react to that light shaft. Mm -hmm. um, I am worried that I might get a few going a little bit high. Okay. I just feel with it being light and the way I pull on it, I might just end up delivering a bit more loft. Yeah. Um, just with the way I react to the feeling of it being lighter. Okay. But again, like I say, that's why I don't know. Yeah. That's why I feel like it'll be the first one on the course to see what happens. So I turned that one, I tried to, but didn't start it over there. Felt like it might find more of a laser, that one. Yeah, I yeah, like that. That's a good shot, that one. Yeah. Little bit more effort to try and, like, I'm going there. Five each. You've not seen me, because I think I clearly tested the Cleveland, maybe, I tested it with Dan, actually, out on the... On the Course, and we were both pretty impressed. Yeah, I haven't seen it I yet. I think you were aware, you were honeymooning and oh, stuff. Or not Mauritius, was you I? You might have been honeymooning, or you might actually have been stag Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Very different holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get more contrasting breaks. No, no. <laughs> That surprises me. I'm gonna do it one more, because that I didn't feel like I hit that shot, but I obviously have. And maybe is that gonna be a problem that we see? Is that the one that you're worried about? Slightly open face, open loft, higher? But possibly, yeah, I, but yeah, I mean, look at it, look where it went, and yeah. then on the right, it's, yeah. that's not what you want. Loads of spin. Loads of spin, short carry. Is that me just not timing my deliveries through that lighter shot? 
Don't know. Like we don't see a lot of those, do we? No, but we do see a couple. Mm. But yeah, I agree. I agree. Sounded a bit toey again. It's the same, yeah, it was a toe. It isn't doing bad out of that bit of the face though, is it? No, I agree. Like your first two carries and that one are yeah, out Yeah, do you there. want to whack, let's whack up, let's see what the benchmark is then. Because I do feel like I want to retest that. Like I might hit the clean and then come back and hit a few more of that again. I just feel like I could be, I still feel like I'm finding where I should be. Okay. With any club. So, 264 carry. Yeah. Peak heighting at 39. Which is a fraction high. I would say you've got a big 45 in there. If yep. I click this button once, <laughs> it does do the right thing. Uh, it goes down to 37. Yeah. Um, spinning at 2.3, and that's with the 3.3 three out as well. So yeah. If I put that back in at two and a half, launching at 14, like they're decent numbers, aren't and they? And look at the potential ball speed. 156 for me is, my, that's a fast ball speed for me. Yeah. That's at my top end of ball speed. Yeah. Uh, let's see what the Cleveland does. Quite a different looking club. A lot more aerodynamic look on top with the little step. Titanium all over. This is gonna make a very different sound. And this is a very, very different price point. This club is, considerably more affordable yeah totally different uh, the looks compared to the other one and yeah. the price isn't it yeah. it's like just a complete role reversal absolutely <laughs> have you flipped the club for me i have here we go so instantly feels a little heavier but it's not i think this is a 50 gram i will check but i think it's a 50 gram shaft so it shouldn't really feel that much different no but the zexio is counterbalanced ah okay that's like my handcraft. Yeah. yeah, so that's again might make that feel much lighter down at the bottom. Okay. Are you can feel that? Well, it feels lighter. It does. Feel and I lighter. don't think I can feel three grams. Hmm. That one feels waggle lighter. Okay. Like I feel like it's woo, which I and like. And it's got the small grip too, and it? and it's got the thin grip, which will be yeah. saving weight. It's yeah. Everything about it is like going down in weight. Cut. Definitely a different sound. Yeah, isn't it's it? a completely different sound. And again, I think there would be, even though I want everyone and they would want everyone to be getting fit, there'd be an element of this being more off the shelf at this price point. Yeah. And there will be a take it on the range. Bang, mm, that goes far. That yeah. Way. Yeah, you totally would get some of those, wouldn't you? Walk in the shop. Yeah. Just want to drive at a yeah. whack. Well, I've seen the stats from certain companies of what they sell custom to off the shelf, mm -hmm. um, lots of people can still get custom fit. Yeah. That sounded... Yeah, it's more my toey draw bomber. Yeah. That's going to be low spinning, I imagine, and <laughs> running for run. England. <laughs> that is a forest gum shot, isn't it? So, nine degree in HB turbo. Yeah. 8.5 the other, isn't it? Yeah, I came down to 8.5 in this, and to be honest with you, if they had a seven, I'd probably game it. Would you? Yeah, I used to play a seven degree driver. God, Why do you think you, I hit up with so yeah. much as a kid? Loved yeah. it. You, you know, it was in the days where everyone just thought low and off goes further. Yeah. So I just went as low as I could. Yeah. And obviously learned to hit it. Get any dippers back in those days? Uh, I can't honestly remember. I probably, to be honest with you, I would guess most of my time <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> Dip and run. That wasn't the longest carry up. <laughs> and that one feels heavier. Yeah, now I'm getting going with it. It's debatable if it does, but when you instantly pick, pick them up, up. you especially when you're side by side like this, you think, yeah, like that does feel yeah. heavy in it. It's all relative. Yeah, yeah. I could give you two hammers, one really heavy, one really light, for a hammer, mm. but it ain't a light hammer. No. You'd pick it up and go, oh, I feel light, well, because you've been playing a really <laughs> heavy one. I always think it's similar to the story, do you not hear the story of soldiers who couldn't sleep in beds when they got home? Too soft. Oh, really? Lots of time out in the field sleeping on yeah, the ground, yeah. they, can't, they, they get home, lovely comfy bed, or they get to the hotel, they go on the floor. 
it just feels uh, too soft. Yeah, yeah. So everything's yeah. relative. Yeah, I've seen that sort of thing on programs. You'll see films, films and stuff. Yeah, they yeah. won't tell you what's yeah. going on, but yeah, that's but what that's they're what saying. They're like, yeah. it's without telling you. That's a rip. That felt like a rip to me. So I want that out there more, but I don't know if it is. It's like a heel. Very gameable drive, though. Okay, let's have a compare of those two. Uh, well, I want to look at dispersion a little bit, and then obviously the other numbers. Let's have a look. What are we seeing, Matthew? So, um, Zexio yeah, well done. is longer by six yards. Yeah. 264 to 258. Yeah. Um, has got a little bit lower spin, 2490 to yeah. 2569, and launching a bit higher as well. Okay. Um, and a tiny bit more ball speed. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? So it's the lower lofted club, but it's launching a bit higher. Yes. Um, and dispersions, if you look at the top here on the screen, your yeah. Cleveland is a little bit tighter, you would say. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it felt that way, didn't it? Yeah, you were just drifting them a little bit to the right more often than um, the Zexio. Yeah. Um, but pff, would you take the distance over the accuracy, knowing that you can control balls pretty well. No. Yeah, well I'm going to retest Sexio because I just feel like I was getting into a bit more of a rhythm there and I want to see if I can deliver it to that club. Okay. Can you just show me longest and shortest with both? Like potential. So longest with the Sexio is 270 carry. Yeah. And then you've got a 263 with the Cleveland. And at the moment that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like the Sexio has a potential, yeah, but I don't know at what cost, yeah, which is why I want to get it out on the course and I need to test it a bit more. I feel like the Cleveland is very much everything I know and expect, okay, but I know what it's going to do, it's in it's falling into the bracket. I could put a lighter shaft in it or try and hit it harder, yeah, and I reckon I could sneak. So I think I could work a little harder with the Cleveland to get it to the Zexio for distances and numbers. Mm -hmm. So that, what I mean by work a bit harder is like, you know, practice a little bit more, make yeah. sure I'm warm enough, all those kind of things, stretch a little bit more. Where I think the Zexia just puts me there. Yeah. And with the way we play, I quite like that. Yeah, I agree. Um, but then I think the Cleveland just puts me exactly where I am with my delivery. I know I'm going to get that shot where the Zexio, I'm still thinking, was that me? Is that the shaft? and how I react to it, like what is making that one go in there, is it that I'm not playing? Yeah. It's all those things. So, and it's like anything, because it's new and different, there's just this doubt. Yeah. That we don't even know. You just need to work it out, don't you? That's, yeah. that's what yeah. it is. Well, I'm going to hit a few more with Zexio. So if you can create a, a Zexio 2. 2, yeah. Um, and let's have a compare. I'm just going to retest Zexio. And I am, when I test my swing fork, I've got kind of two movements, one that will kind of, hit right down the line, not that strong, maybe leap right. Yeah. And then I've got one that I feel like I turn it, which is where I'm going to get my bigger numbers, and kind of where I want to be. But often when I test and I jump in and out of those two, because I think, oh, I think that one offline, I want it. want to get time. one, yeah. And, I don't, and that's why I think it's an important point when people are testing. If you do have a couple of shots. Make sure you're doing do them. Do them. Yeah, yeah. You know, work out what's going to work best for the club you're testing. So I'm going to go more for the, like, the turnier ones now. So it's a slight change in setup where I aim a bit more. Like that's the, that's exactly the shot I want. Oh my god! Oh, holy moly! <laughs> I haven't, have I? <laughs> oh, get up! One yard, come on! Look at that carry. That I don't think you get that from the Cleveland. No, I don't think it's in there. No, unless, like you say, you work hard. Like. Like crazy not hard. having to work hard the way we play golf is nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, crikey. That's an arrow. Laser ball, line ball. Oh, yeah. Get right. Oh, I could nip out, couldn't it? <laughs> I mean, there you go. That's exactly what I'd expect second time round. 
you'll see dispersion in a set. Yeah, like, that's like where yeah. I am. It's n there's no question which one you go for yeah. with that set. Is there? Let's like, look at those look numbers. At those. Um, let's compare again. So, so my ball speed's gone up a gone fraction up, more than were good strikes. An hour, yeah. um, Launch came lower. down because I obviously struck them a bit better. Spin similar to what it was before. And then look, I mean, it's 10 yards with HB to... To launcher. And, and again, I don't think it's 10 yards longer than launcher. I think it's got the potential to be 10 yards further when... Yeah. I'm a bit fatigued. Yeah. I haven't warmed up enough. You Not stretched. Do you see what I mean? You won't have the drop off, will you? That yeah. you see in general play. And like you look at the dispersion there again, like those four shots are tighter than anything now. Yeah, and they're better getting back to my like seven iron spread. Yeah, exactly. And uh, longest a, hit? A 277. Yeah. And if you'd have just firmed that fairway up, like I told you, I'd have been over 300. I did put it on soft. <laughs> <laughs> like that's perfect that shot isn't it yeah look at the launch the spin the speed of your ball and everything like perfect peak yeah, height yeah, yeah. is good brilliant there we go those two drivers tested you could see why that one's going in the bag first but hopefully you can also see why that one is still very much in my eyes of what i kind of want to get from a club i think like everyone watching these videos matt what am i doing Testing, retesting, searching, searching guessing, and working stuff you out. You see what I mean? Someone's yeah. dangled a little carrot. Whoa. I, I literally. <laughs> oh, come back. Aren't I? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No yeah. difference. I sit on tall ranges, I sit in comments, I see it in lessons, I've seen it in fits. Um, 10 yards potential, mm. but then the big question is maybe it's 10 yards potential, but when I hit it in the wrong place and get it a bit wrong, how far right is it? Yeah. It's that balance, isn't it? Yeah, um, um, I, I just think that the people out there, or even like you said, testing that Cleveland what? with Look. a Oh, hello. Test, That's what I mean. Testing the Cleveland with the lighter shaft as well. Yeah. Because for a lot of people that, Zexio is a lot of money. Yeah, but I totally agree. Um, well, look at that shot. Can that, you bring that? I mean, yeah, that yeah. shot up there. Let's get that one. That's the point I'm trying to make. I did feel like I had to go for it. 275. 275 carry. 277 before. Yeah. Like. And then it's 154 ball speed. Yeah. You can do it with any club. That's why 262 is a thing. Um, Absolutely. <clears throat> You can kind of do it with any of them. Yeah. It's got to dial into that, hasn't it? Yeah. Post comments down below. Which one do you want to see me play first in a course vlog down there? Let me know. Check that video out. It's a really good one. Hit that subscribe button over there as well. And thanks for this follower, at Crossfield Mark on Instagram for following. If you want to call out at the end of the videos, just make sure you're following at Crossfield Mark and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.